Oh, it's game time, baby. What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It is time to get it started up in here. So we're going to bum around. I've got a couple things set up already for us. The first thing set up right here, this is the class Axion that we bought yesterday. We're going to go ahead and hire a worker on this, planting wheat, getting that all in the ground. Oh, man, that is good. Let's see, poke around, see what else we got going on. Who else we got? So we have the class Zarian. We're going to have to babysit that. So actually, you know what? We could probably, uh, if we go ahead and just run a couple headlands, nah, hey, will it work? Maybe. Let's see. Let's pull forward just a little bit. Also, uh, I'm going to have to do a lot of this myself today because this guy does not like to go as fast as I want it to with a worker. I can go just about as fast as I want without a worker, but with it, it's going to take some time. There we go. That is good right there. That is really all we need to do. I'm going to hire a worker on that just so they can get a little bit extra work done while we're working on the field in front of us right now. As a matter of fact, if I go ahead and run this... We can probably get started with planting here soon. Why don't we just do that? DJ, you're a genius. Thanks, DJ. You're awesome. Man, you're awesome, too. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just uh, hanging out. What? <laughs> so what is going in right here where we're at? So this is going to be sugar beets right where we're at here. Now, I'm going to do, I believe, two full passes with this guy, and then we're going to rock back through and we're going to do, uh, well, we're plant soybeans in here. Or not soybeans, goodness gracious. We're going to plant sugar beets in here. That's exactly what we're going to do right here. Uh, and then the rest of the field will be canola because we don't need a whole lot of sugar beets. Uh, only 5% of their diet is sugar beets. As a matter of fact, one row is probably plenty for what's going on here. But we're going to plant two rows anyway. That way we've got enough for later. So we don't have to buy any for a while. Uh, as you know... The reason we're doing all this is yesterday we realized how much money we are spending on pig food. It's ridiculous. And especially for the amount of pigs that we have now. Like before, one one trailer would fill up the pig food. Now, <laughs> no, not even close. So we're going to do the entire pig food thing for them. Get a bat right. And spin this guy around hopefully we can can i do it with this dug into the ground i can't we got to raise it that's all right uh, also you may notice that i have four wheel steering turned off and they were spinning a lot what in the world uh yeah that is for a reason this does not like to be driven with four wheel steering on it just doesn't have the turning radius so it's like well i can handle that no problem at all let's go ahead and get this on a worker so they can at least start a straight line for us. Man, look, those wheels are spinning a little bit. Let's boom in. Let's see if we can catch them spinning. Uh, they're digging right now. That's good. But they were spinning. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Can we do it? Uh, uh. <laughs> I think it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Let's go ahead and fire the worker back up just a little bit. Drop this down. Give her a quick little squicky. Oh, go, 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 go. Dig in. There we go. Spinning, but it's good. Uh, so you can actually fast farm with this cultivator. That's why I like this one, because you can fast farm with it. Uh, I really, really like doing fast farming stuff, because it's super cheaty, and I love it. And that's exactly... Get out of here, birds. That's exactly why we do it. Uh, the one thing here is we do need to make sure we are on a straight line, because I want to take up as much room as possible. This seems to be doing okay. We are going to have to babysit the other guy uh, just a little bit, at least hit the headlands for it. Uh, because, again, as mentioned yesterday, we're going to be, there's going to be a row in between. We're double cropping this field right here. We're putting two crops in it. Uh, we're not interlacing them uh, where normally you would interlace crops. You'd put like a soybean or something like that beside a corn. So the corn gets more sun and uh, the nutrition pulls up from the ground. But and yeah, we're not having to really worry about that, are we? Yeah, we're, we're literally heading on a straight line. So that right there, everything that you see cultivated, that is all going to be sugar beets, and that is it. <laughs> you probably know, those of you that do quite a bit of sugar beets know, that's going to be a whole lot of sugar beets. So I'm not too crazy concerned. We're going to hit? Yep. All right, so let's make this look nice. Let's make it look neat. Then I'm going to hire a worker 
to, uh, well, start planting canola in this field. That's right. We're going to be doing canola in the rest of it. So let's get this done. Man, it's just a spinning hog today. It is not doing well. This thing does not like what is going on. Now for the canola. Let's help this guy out. So we're going to be running a couple headlands. So what I'm going to do is we're going to run one around the entire field, and then we're going to run a second here at the top. So what I want to do here is just hire a worker, let the worker do kind of their thing to start with, at least up here at the top. Got a little bit of overlap, so we make sure we're good here. Man, we got three workers working right now. We have two Axians and a Zarian. Oh, <laughs> is that Axian? Yeah, I'm, le I'm learning. I'm, I'm trying to learn. If I do mess up the names of the tractors, I apologize. I'm not trying to. I don't want to get anything wrong. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. Corn is going to be going in the field that the Zarian's in right now, cultivating. That's why we have to do that. We have to cultivate it so we can at least get some uh, corn in. This right here, this is canola. Of course, you know that. Uh, the wheat, hopefully, is going to be done soon. So we're not going to have to worry about that much longer. And we're actually coming up on the edge over here. So i got to make sure we get close, but not all the way on it. That way we don't run into any problems later on. Getting close, getting close, get close. That's about as comfortable as I feel right there. Perfect. That's a small row, but I think that's going to be perfect for what we got going on. So now let's put this guy right here. And might be a little close. I don't want to get it too close. About right there. That's going to be just fine. As a matter of fact, we could probably run a uh, run a grass grass line down the middle of this and be just fine, but I think it's okay that we leave some crop in between. There we go. Hire a worker, and that is perfect. Nice. So this is going down all the way down. I'm going to run over, come all the way back up, and then run one more headland here at the top if we've got enough seed and fertilizer in, which I'm sure we will. And then we're just going to hire the worker, let them go, and then we're going to go and babysit Zarian with the cultivator a little bit and uh, just kind of get that field finished up in a little bit of a jiffy. Workers are 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 are, 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 are all hired. <laughs> so we've got that going on. Uh, we are going to get a lot of uh, whatever's going in here. <laughs> the canola. We're going to get a whole bunch of canola, which is good. It's not bad. Um, let's see. Let's do this. Hopefully this guy pulls better than it was. Uh, the worker was not doing a phenomenal job. To be fair, the worker did subpar, and by subpar, I mean terrible job with this. Uh, but we can go a little bit faster than the worker could. And unfortunately, we can't go straight, though. So there is that problem as well. Uh, again, I want to get this done as quickly as possible so that we can rock and roll and get the rest of everything that's going on done as well. Um, get this. It is what it is. Let's finish this field ASAP so that we can start getting some crop in the ground because every minute we're spending without getting crop in the ground, it, well, time's at zero, so it doesn't matter, does it? Not sure how this guy ended up in this field and missed some crop. Good job there, buddy. Uh, we're going to have to do this ourselves, evidently, because you, well, don't know how. Good job. <laughs> so let's hit this. Then we're going to swap this over to canola. And we're going to go give our other buddy a hand over there. Also, the other field is completely done now. Uh, and we have returned the uh, cultivator. So that's all finished up. So now it is all just getting crop in the ground. Getting it in and getting it done. Oh, this is a this is a big project. This is a lot bigger of a project than I was expecting it to be. Not that it's a problem. just is what it is. Did you really skip a thing and then start planting over here? You moron! Goodness gracious. Ay, 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 ay. Here we go. Let's get this. We've got it. Let's move it over to canola. And naturally, we skipped it. There we go. So the reason we did canola versus soybeans is I feel like we can get more canola per seed. That, or not per seed, but per acre than we can soybeans. Uh, that is really the only reason why I decided to use one crop versus the other. I just felt like we could did it. We could did it. We could do it better. So that is one. That's in. That's good. We got another crop right here, ready to go. Uh, looks like our guy hasn't got much work done 
Bah, you still got a whole bunch of a field to go. Let's move, man. Let's move. Be it too slow. Let's set this guy up. <laughs> Speaking of too slow, I feel like I'm going like creeping right now. I'm going 32 miles an hour. But this right here, 32 miles an hour, that's actually higher than any of the speed limits in the town that I live in. <laughs> speed limit for the town's 25. Uh, so I never drive over 25. I mean, maybe I don't drive over 30. What? I don't know. <laughs> Hire the worker. Canola in. Good to go. Perfect. Super awesome. So I guess we're going to use this right here for planting corn. All right, let's do it. And again, since we don't have seed or fertilizer, we're going to have to use this. I believe this will work. Yeah, this works. Kind of, <laughs> I know it looks like it's pouring it on the ground, but there's uh, very interesting, there we go, seeds. There's very interesting cues on here. Uh, also, 17,600 for 10,000 liters of fertilizer uh, and $14,000 for 15,000 liters of seed. Almost seems like, uh, well, we're being robbed, and I don't like being robbed. Uh, so we're going to have to do something. I think in the next video, we're going to be getting some seed and fertilizer. We're going to go buy a bunch and bring it over here. So these guys are doing a pretty good job. Nice, nice. Everything's rocking and rolling there. Is he on my field? Yeah, okay, we're on our field. Good. Uh, we need to put some crop in the ground over here. So I'm going to line this up. See if I can drive on this a little bit, but we're gonna line this up. We're gonna hit a headland here at the top. Oh, come on, just turn. Just do the turn. Stupid, stupid, stupid thing. I'm gonna take it out of four wheel drive or four wheel steer. Sorry, it's of course all wheel drive. Nothing you can do about that. Let's bring it about right here. Now I know I've got it set on corn. I'm gonna change that over to sugar beet right now. Bring it about right here. And set it to plan. There you go. Very cool. Very nice. There is our top run of sugar beets. And let's go ahead and take that. And we're just going to basically set this guy on a worker and let him rock all the way down. Uh, I know it looks over there like they're, I've planted into the next field. Don't worry. I have not. Uh, what it does is things like this. If you don't use a direct drill when you're on top of things, you can actually fertilize the ground. It's kind of interesting. But you can fertilize the ground but you can't plan on top of it. So it's changing it and the the light line that you see down the middle, uh, that is all just kind of like the the straw, it's not a straw swath, but it's the uh, the chaff, straw chaff or whatever that was coming out the back. Uh, so that's all just hanging out on the ground. And when you fertilize over it, of course, you know that stuff disappears and goes away. So uh, let's see, I believe this is gonna run us two headlands or two, not two, three. So what I've done is this is, I believe, an 18 meter um, width. And on top of this being an 18 meter width, the cultivator is 24. We did two, that's 48. On top of this, we should overlap a little bit if we do three lines. Should. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens, I know. Uh, but we're gonna see nonetheless. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have the perfect amount of overlap in the middle. And I'm very, very happy about that. That lined up almost perfectly. Again, sugar beets. This is going to be a ridiculous amount of sugar beets already. Yep, you can see the straws going away, but the sprigs are still standing because, of course, we cannot plant in that. There you go. Let's run up. Let's head to the top. We'll come back down one more time. Just go and get these sugar beets in. We're going to change over to corn. We're going to plant that cornfield. Look at that. Just a bit of overlap on each side, maybe a couple meters on each. Man, this is going to be an amazing amount of sugar beets. And here we go. This is the last bit of crop for everybody, or for the piggies, rather. There we go. Do the thing. You can fast farm with these as well, which is amazing. Uh, we can get the job done and not, not half the time, but we can get the job done fairly quickly. I am going to do just front wheel drive on here because, again, always have problems with doing all-wheel steer with stuff like this, especially trying to keep everything in line. Uh, you get so used to, you know, pulling smaller equipment, and then when you get into the bigger stuff, almost everything has all-wheel steer. And it's like, oh, man, I really wish it wasn't like this. It's so it's really nice to just be able to do this because whenever you turn, the back of the tractor moves as well, uh, which in turn moves the trailer a lot farther than you would want to move it. I don't like that. I'm sure you guys don't like that at all. So there we go. There's that. Only problem is you can't steer as good. You get so used to it. Oh me, oh my. There's that. Cool. 
perfect. Rock back through. Nice. What I am going to do is, since this is such a big uh, cedar planter, rather, it's a planter. Since this is such a large planter, I am going to run two headlands at the bottom, up and down, uh, side to side, and then I'm going to hire a worker on this guy, and that should take care of everything that needs to do. The worker should be able to do the entire field, and if not the entire field, a lot of this field without any issues. Sitting here almost finished with our second headland. A little bit of overlap, but I'm not too concerned about that. There we go. There's that. I'm going to turn it off, spin it around. Hopefully we don't catch on anything. And then I'm just going to hire a worker and let this guy go. Now, I do have uh, one of our guys over there. His something has happened and they have stopped. So we're going to bump around and see what's going on. Okay, so they're out of fertilizer. Interesting. All right, well, let's turn it on. Let's get it folded up. Let's take this guy over. And we need to pour some more fertilizer in here. Of course, we're going to have to buy it. Uh, there is another way that, of course, we could do the fertilizer, and that is with the uh, the little tanker guy. Uh, seed tender, that's it. I really like the seed tender. I have tried not using it because I feel like every map that I'm on, uh, at least in the past, we've used a seed tender and we've used something with it, usually the smaller uh, 754 uh, truck pack, the D754 pack. And I've tried to not do that because I feel like that's all we do. So, I don't know. Let me know if that's something you guys think that we should do or not. All right, let's see. Seeds we're fine on. We need fertilizer. There we go. Oh, and there goes all our money. Bye, money. <laughs> I know we're going to use it eventually. 17,000, if we can get a good crop of 17,000 liters, we're good to go. Try not to drive in my own crop. Try not to drive in my own crop. Come on, DJ, you can do this, man. Get it together. So with that, I mean, this field's almost done. I uh, would just, workers got to run some headlands and be fine. Or say headlands, workers just got to run lines back and forth, be okay. Uh, and our wheat field is done. Sugar beets are done. Really, the only thing we're waiting on is the canola field, which is almost done. So we're more or less kind of getting to the point now where I need to figure out where the side of this is because <laughs> I know it over I know the worker overlaps a bit let's see about right there something like that you know what we'll we'll set it off to the right just a bit that way it's got something to take off when it comes back there we go workers back to being happy again let's check on everybody let's bump around uh, this guy is doing just fine though is going to run out of fertilizer eventually uh, probably going to let this run one or two more lines, then we'll fill it back up with fertilizer. Uh, again, here, low on fertilizer, but probably not going to have any issues. This is actually the only horse that we've got right now. I haven't modded. I need to mod this. Giants, I'm going to mod it. I'm sorry. Love you guys. <laughs> so that is it. That's what we've got going on. I need to do... Oh, we need manure, don't we? Yeah, we got a whole bunch of manure, and everything's on autopilot right now. <sighs> Well, we could do that, or we could put some fertilizer in here because this guy is well done. <laughs> I walked away for a few minutes uh, to go get, get, a, get a water bottle. I came back and it was like, worker blah, blah, blah is done because they don't have what they need. Come on, man. All right, fine. You know what? Whatever. Two can play that game. I'll fill you up with fertilizer, but you're not going to like it. <laughs> Actually, you know what? What would be even better is if we can just, oh, I don't know, unload from, that's what I was in. We could just unload. I didn't want to unload the seed. I just want to unload the fertilizer. Darn it. Well, I guess it is what it is. Uh, we'll come through and fill up with everything. <laughs> come on, man. All right, where are we? This guy, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We need to get this out of the way. I had a bunch of fertilizer and seed in the other ones. I was like, well, why don't we just use that? It's perfect. We already have it, and it's for free. Well, it's not for free. We already paid for it, but it's more that we don't have to buy. Now, where is it? Nope, 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 nope. Yes. Ha-ha. Here we go. So let's use that. Let's fill up a seed and fertilizer in here. Let's go ahead and do that. There's <laughs> so much. Why? Why does there have to be so much? Oh, man. 
All right, whatever. Let's do it. Well, that was actually not too bad. We got a full for or full full Ford full corn, and we have a full amount of uh, well, almost a full amount of fertilizer. So we almost have everything we need. If only it didn't use so much darn fertilizer. Rabble. All right, hire the worker. Get it rocking and rolling. Hopefully they don't miss anything. Should be enough of an overlap here where we have no problems. We'll get down here to the end and we'll flip it around. And that will be good to go. But between now and then, that is going to be it for today. I think we're going to have to work on the manure and get all that done tomorrow. I just do not have time for it today. No, you will fertilize the ground right here. Come on, drop through it. There we go. Perfect. But with all that being said, Hope you guys have an awesome day. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you later. Peace.